So today, we're gonna grab the zucchini. Hi, Ba. The simple and humble zucchini and create an extraordinary dish. We're talking a cream of zucchini soup with honey roasted almonds. This dish hails from the province of Tarragona, which is located in the region of Catalonia, but more specifically from the town of Priorat. Now, the name Priorat kind of rings a bell because it's also one of the most famous wine regions here in Spain. Anyways, this soup has so many beautiful textures and flavors. The honey roasted almonds just takes it to the next level and it's very easy to make, folks. This soup is so good and you can serve it either warm or cold, making it the perfect dish for any time of the year. Let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm going to grab one onion and cut it into large chunks. For the next ingredient, I'm going to grab four cloves of garlic and cut them in half. As you can see, we're cutting these vegetables into larger chunks. That way, once they're cooked, you can easily remove them from the pan. Moving on, I'm going to grab two zucchinis. These have already been washed and cut them into rounds. They're about half inch thick, which is 1.25 centimeters. And for the final vegetable to prepare, I have one large potato. I already peeled it and washed it and cut it into chunks that are about one inch thick, which is two and a half centimeters. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a stock pot, heat it with a medium high heat, and add in a quarter cup, which is 60 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for one minute, I'm gonna add in the chunks of onion and the pieces of garlic. And start mixing these ingredients around with that olive oil. You wanna mix this continuously. We are on a medium high heat. That way the ingredients don't burn and they all evenly saute. After about three minutes, and you can see that garlic and onion have developed a beautiful light golden fried color. You don't want to overcook them, otherwise they get a bitter flavor. I'm going to add in the chunks of potato and the pieces of zucchini. And I'm going to add in three cups, which is about 700 milliliters of vegetable broth. Now the broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find a link on how to make it in the iCard above. and we'll give this a quick mix and bring it to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid on the stock pot and lower the fire from a medium high heat to a low medium heat. While our vegetables are cooking in the stock pot, let's make the honey roasted almonds. I'm gonna add in one cup of blanched almonds into a large bowl. This equals 130 grams along with one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil and one tablespoon or 21 grams of honey. As you can see, I like to measure out the olive oil first. That way when you add the honey into the measuring spoon, it doesn't stick to it. We'll lightly season with a little sea salt and we'll give this a quick mix. That way all the almonds are coated in that honey and olive oil. Once the almonds are well coated, I'm going to transfer them into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper and make sure to reserve the bowl that we mix those almonds in as there's still a little bit of honey and olive oil in there. We're going to need that later on. And make sure all the almonds are in a single layer. That way they all evenly roast. And I'm going to add the almonds into a preheated oven, bake and boil option. That's the bottom and top heat, 190 degrees Celsius, which is 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if your oven can't do both functions at the same time, no big deal. Just bake them for an extra two to three minutes longer than I'm baking mine and make sure to get in there at the halfway point and flip them around. That way they all evenly roast, but keep an eye on them. You don't want to over roast your almonds, otherwise they get a bitter flavor to them. After about 10 minutes, these almonds should be perfectly roasted. I'm going to remove them from the oven, transfer the almonds back into the bowl, then we mix them in earlier. Give it a quick mix, that way the almonds can be coated in that leftover honey and olive oil that was left over in the bowl. And once again, transfer the almonds into the parchment paper and make sure they're in a single layer. We're gonna let these sit here to air dry. This is what's gonna give these almonds that beautiful crunch. 
All right, let's move back to our vegetables. They've been simmering on a low medium heat between 20 to 25 minutes and all these veggies should be perfectly cooked. You know, you can always pierce one of the potatoes and if it easily goes in, all the vegetables are ready to go. I'm gonna remove the stock pot from the heat and transfer the vegetables into a bowl. That way they can cool off. And as you can see, by cutting these veggies into large chunks, you can easily remove them from the pan. and make sure we reserve the leftover broth in the pan. We're gonna be using that to thin out our soup. After leaving our vegetables to cool off for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna add them into a food processor. By letting them sit there for 10 minutes, it's brought up the temperature in the vegetables. That way it doesn't damage the food processor. And by the way, to make this recipe, you can also use a blender. I'm gonna place a lid on the food processor and run it on a low speed. Once all the vegetables have came together, I'm gonna start adding some of our reserved vegetable broth into the food processor. I'm gonna add in about half a cup, which is about 115 milliliters. This is gonna give us the perfect creamy texture. If you want your soup to be a little bit thicker, add in a little less broth. If you want it to be thinner, add in a little bit more broth. And I'm gonna run this between two to three minutes on a low speed, or until we end up with a beautiful creamy texture. And check it out, look at that beautiful creamy texture. This is exactly how I like to serve my cream of zucchini soup. But like I told you earlier, if you want it to be a little thicker, add in less broth. And if you want it to be a little bit thinner, add in a little bit more. I'm gonna remove this from the food processor and transfer some of the soup into a shallow bowl. And for the final step, let's grab our honey roasted almonds by letting them sit there and air dry. They now have a beautiful crunchy texture to them. I'm gonna add them into a mortar. And using a pestle, I'm gonna pound down on the almonds just to get some small chunks of almonds. To do this, you can also use a food processor. And I'm gonna add in some of the chopped almonds over the soup, folks. Check it out, our cream of zucchini soup with honey roasted almonds is done. Such a beautiful presentation, so easy to make, sweet and savory. Let's give this a try and see how it tastes. This came out looking seriously good. Here we go. Wow, it is so good, sweet and savory. You have that beautiful creamy texture from the vegetables mixed in with the honey roasted almonds. It's an explosion of goodness. You saw this, a beautiful dish from the province of Tarragona. Easy to make, simple ingredients. Like I told you earlier, serve it warm, serve it cold, perfect for any time of the year. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Terry K. Clean and Robert Jefferson, AKA the Kamakura Gardener. Gang guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one that helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this and sharing these Spanish recipes with you. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.